people asking me about 21 Savage. Wildman and I were in exactly the same situation as him. In the custody of ICE, getting deported back to England. My situation only happened once. Wildman was deported three times. Banned from America for being a menace to society. He kept coming back. One time he was in the ICE prison for almost a year. I had to get a lawyer out of Tucson to get on the ice to get him out of there because I had situations going on and I needed to smuggle him back in. Yeah, so after this video I'm going to post Wildman's prison ice experience because he's got loads more experience than me about deportations. So, when you finish in the Arizona Department of Corrections, if you're an Englishman, you get handed over to ICE. So in 21 Savage's case, these guys were arrested by ICE. So effectively, he went into ICE custody at that point in time. I went into ICE custody as soon as I finished at ADOC. So you're in the transportation van and they take you off to somewhere like Florence. And in the beginning, you end up in this massive warehouse of all these people who've been rounded up by ICE. I was the only English guy in there. There was like an Asian guy. There was a, like a guy from Africa. But everybody else in there was Mexican. So I'm in there. It's all male. 99% plus Mexicans. Giant warehouse. And in the beginning, I'm just sat with my back to the wall waiting for my name to be called for almost two days seriously I was on the floor trying to sleep in the fetal position I did manage to drift off I felt this big wet hairy tarantula on my face and I freaked out I woke up like this and it was actually a mop head someone was playing a prank the cleaning crew had come out early in the morning and someone had rubbed the mop, was rubbing the mop on my face well, that made me jump up fast. The showers in the ice facility, like you see in Shawshank, it was just a big room, so everybody had to just shower together collectively. And then when they do finally call your name, you're just so worn down from just sitting in that warehouse for all that time. When they do finally call your name, you go over to these dorms and People are running around, making noise, people just piling on each other's dorms. All this stuff that you can't do in prison, piling on each other's bunks and sitting on each other's bunks. And this is freaking me out at this point because in prison, if say a bunch of dudes just pile into your cell and just pile onto your bunk, that's like fighting. You're gonna have to take some action against those people for disrespecting your home. But in ICE, because these new arrestees are not from the prison system, mostly the people have been rounded up in immigration sweeps. They're just like family people, normal people, not got criminal records. The only thing they've done wrong was they were in America illegally. And some of them had actually been in America for years, got houses, families, jobs, set up businesses. It was quite sad hearing some of the stories. So because I learned some Spanish over the years in prison, you know, I was able to communicate with them and also tell the guards some of the stuff, some of the things that they wanted me to convey to the guards, like asking guards questions here and there, but the guards were like, didn't appreciate that. They, they just wanted me to shut the fuck up. Now, I did not fight my case. I wanted to be deported as fast as possible. 21 Savage, he's fighting his case, so God knows how long he's going to stay in the ICE prison for. I ended up in the ICE prison for less than a month and they put me on a flight out of Arizona. We all boarded the, the, the plane. We've been sat in this van all day waiting, to, these buses and vans all day waiting to go on the plane. All cuffed together. It was so hot in these vans and I thought I was going to just collapse. People were like gagging for oxygen, like putting the head to put the top of the vehicle, so like just gagging for oxygen. And then eventually they put us on the plane. The plane malfunctioned when it was about 
on the runway, it taxied a bit and then they stopped it, took it back and put us all back in the vans! So then we were all in these hellish vans again. They couldn't get a plane to take us to California that night so we, we um, had to, had to uh, go back. And on and on this went, honestly, this is um, it's like how they create work for themselves or something. So, in the end, this plane then, like Connor, all the prisoners shackled, federal ice marshals just watching us with the guns, can't get up and, and use the toilet. Eventually, I got to the LA, like some kind of jail holding facility where they put all of the deportees. My God, I'm in there for days as well, and um, it's just wearing us all down. In the end, they put me on a flight from LAX to London, and my parents are at Gatwick Airport, I think it is, I'm all stubbled out. There's actually some videos on my YouTube channel of me seeing my parents at the airport for the first time since my release, and my mum was crying and everything, and um, I'll put a link to those videos in the description box below this video. So. Then I'm on the flight back to the UK. I've been giving back some of my street clothes, which a friend in Arizona um, gave to the ice people. So I've got this big, thick uh, coat ready for the cold English weather. I'm all excited, haven't slept in days on the plane, you know, and then get back to London. I didn't have any, get any problems at all with the authorities when I got to London. Hey, it was another story for Wild Man. So, because 21 Savage is fighting his case, he could be in there for months while the legal battles go on. In my situation, they wouldn't tell me my exact release because of security purposes, so a prison charity, they found out, they gave my parents a head up, and that's how they were able to meet me. But just to run down real quick, what 21 Savage, what's happened here with, with the rapper. So he was actually born, Shea Bin Abraham Joseph. He's previously described having a childhood in Atlanta during interviews, but according to officials, he came to the US in July 2005, age 12. Failed to leave when his visa expired a year later. I mean, I'm here on my work visa, he's <laughs> illegal alien stockbroker. And you know, for all those years, I'm just breaking the law. But because of every, every, Immigration Roundup was always the Mexicans on TV. They never came to the stockbroker office. I was so cocky. I had operations in Mexico, go down to my operations in Mexico. And when I would come back into the country, they would say to you, you know, are you a US citizen? And I'd say, yes. What have you been doing down in Rocky Point? Oh, scuba diving, the tourist stuff. They'd ask a few questions and I'd put on my best American accent. They'd see I was in a vehicle with University of Arizona stickers, diving equipment, all this tourist stuff. And they'd just let me back through. So I pushed it to the limit going in and out of Mexico. If they'd have stopped me and busted me at the border coming back in from Mexico, it would have been all over. They would have put me in the ice prison right away and deported me back to the UK. But I did have the know-how to smuggle myself back in through Mexico and Canada because I did that for well, man. And they got the craziest stories ever of him just smuggling missions and almost getting caught coming back in at the border. So, 21 Savage was in the same situation. He'd overstayed his visa. I also had like a printing set from Office Depot. I was going to stamp H1B1 visa in my passport if any of the workplaces had asked me for my work visa. But nobody ever asked me for a work visa because I was pale, educated Englishman. I didn't suspect that I would break the law like that. So, a CNN reporter quoted ICE spokesman as saying, 21 Savage's whole public persona is false. Fancy that, a rapper with a false persona. Rick Ross, prison guard, Takashi 69, gangster. Looking at the Takashi 69 stuff, I do believe he will snitch. In his plea bargain, they're reporting that he's agreed to cooperate. So I don't think he's snitched yet, but I think he's going to snitch if that report is correct. Just want to get that straight because some people think I'm backing him up, but I'm not backing him up. I'm just trying to look at all of these things independently with the experience and expertise I've cultivated from what I went through with prison and deportation and the legal system. So, 
He actually came to the US from the UK as a teen and overstayed his visa. This is what the ICE spokesman is saying. Now, to contradict that, his lawyer, Dina Lapolt, said, We're working diligently to get Mr. Abraham Joseph out of detention while we work with the authorities to clear up any misunderstandings. Mr. Abraham Joseph is a role model to the young people in this country, especially in Atlanta, Georgia, and is actively working in the community leading programs to help underprivileged youths in financial literacy. So, they're trying to play the social projects card there, but if he is genuinely from the UK, ICE and the UK government don't fuck around. ICE right now has contacted the UK government and they will verify on both sides birth certificates, records, etc. And when it is confirmed from both sides, the UK government has to accept the deportation. So in my case, my deportation was like, like this process and all this stuff, my lawyer had to do all this stuff. I wanted to expedite mine so that the UK government would, would take me as, as quickly as possible. They don't just take your word or the US government's word, they verify at both ends. So if he is born in the UK, he's going back and he will probably be banned from America for a long time. I ended up with being banned from America for life. Savage reportedly failed to depart under the terms of his non-immigrant visa and he became unlawfully present in the US when his visa expired in July 2006. I actually had a tourist visa, I think it lasted six months. This was back in 1991. And, you know, they just asked me when I was coming into the country, why am I coming to the country? I said, visit my aunt and uncle, where do they live? Gave them the address, how are you going to support yourself in the country? Open my wallet and showed them all my debit and credit cards and they were like, have a nice day, Mr. Howard. Welcome to America. Cash is king, credit is king, money is king. They, they want to know you're going to come and spend a load of money in the country. That's, that's what they appreciate. So I got in no problem at all. 21 Savage long stated he's from Atlanta where he had a rough childhood. He said he first saw a gun when he was eight, but did not specify where the incident took place. So if that was in London, there's nowhere near as many guns in this country as America but gun crime is increasing, but London is like a capital for knife crime right now. Drug gangs competing over black market profits, stabbing each other. And another now, now there's this thing where they come up and spray acid on your face and snatch your phone if you're walking around with your phone. London's getting out of control of all the gang stuff. He was also caught in the same interview as being expelled from school at age 12 or 13 and taking a gun to class. 21 Savage released his commercially and critically successful de debut Issa album 2017, followed up with I Am, I Was, which went to the top of the Billboard 200 albums chart last year. Wow, so this guy's had a phenomenal success. Power to him. You know, he's not got any sex offences, he's not done anything stupid like all of these other celebrity guys, so... He is considered to be one of the greatest rappers from Atlanta, a city widely re regarded to be the centre of modern hip-hop in the US. Praised for music that is mature, introspective, full of stories in, from the world in which he inhabits. He was nominated for two awards at the 2019 Grammys, which takes place on the 10th of February. Oh man, that must hurt to come from nothing to be at the Grammys. You ain't going to be getting no ICE escort to the Grammys, my friend. Pablo Escar, bah, he would have to please escort him out to places, but that's not going to happen for you, 21 Savage. Record of the year for Rockstar with Post Malone. So officials are now waiting for the judge's ruling before deciding how to proceed. UK Foreign Office spokesperson said staff are in contact with the lawyer of a British man following his detention 
in the US. So something's going on there behind the scenes. UK government investigating the fuck out of this right now because it's headline news. There's going to be no turning back when they verify. 21 Savage, he was taken into custody by ICE agents in a targeted operation on 3rd of February. So stars from the US rap scene, including Cardi B, Quavo, Metro Boomin, have thrown the support behind the campaign created by Black Lives Matter to free rapper 21 Savage. Hey, you know, it's good that this guy's got so much support, he's not got any nasty charges or offences, but these guys from the dream world, if they think they're going to pull him out of the death grip of ICE and the UK government. So, he was living on an expired visa and a birth certificate obtained by Mail Online suggests he was born in Newham, East London. So, he's on the other side of London than me. And the Mail is like a big newspaper here in the UK. They've got a big website as well. Brian Cox of I said he is unlawfully present in the US and also a convicted felon. So if you want to look at what he's been in the mix with guns and drugs and stuff, check out his wiki page, it details it all. So his lawyer is saying that he's being held due to incorrect information. ICE has not charged Mr. Abram Joseph with any crime. As a minor, his family overstayed their work visas and he, like two million other children, was left without legal status through no fault of his own. This is a civil law violation and the continued detention of Mr. Abraham Joseph serves no other purpose than to unnecessarily punish him and try to intimidate him into giving up his right to remain to, in the United States. Now, he ain't even going to get on bail bond because when I asked for a bail reduction, my bail was $750,000. Prosecutor said I was a flight risk because I was a British citizen. And after my bail hearing, the judge he took it under advisement, and then when the ruling came down, he doubled my bail to $1.5 million cash only. So this guy's got no hope of getting out on bail bond. So we've now got a social media campaign, hashtag Free21Savage. Cardi B, who collaborated with him, wrote on Insta, We will read and educate ourselves on this situation, and we will take action. 21 did not come here illegally and was not caught doing anything illegal or doing any mischief. In fact, he has changed his whole life around, and as you can see, he's been very positive of his music and his actions. Other collabs include Quavo, Post Malone, Metro Boomin, or backing the campaign by Black Lives Matter. Rapper Killer might also voice support, tweeting, my sincere hope is to see this young man who has made a way for himself allowed to stay and continue to prosper and grow his legacy. Again, they're all in the dream world. If he was born in Newham, East London, he's going back to the same airport I went back to in London. Either Gat well, actually, it could be Gatwick, it could be Heathrow. There's flights uh, from LA to both of them. Or New York, perhaps. Perhaps have come from the East Coast. And um, like I said, Wild Man, he's got multiple stories about ice prisons. If you want to understand more of what 21's going through, the next video I'm going to post is Wild Man's Ice Prisons and Deportation Stories. He served totally, he must have served well over a year in, in a variety of situations with ice. Um, it cost me an absolute bloody fortune smuggling him back in the country. So hope you enjoy that one next. My new funding talks are coming up. Just to put those up on my events page on my website. So presently we've got Brighton confirmed for March 10th, Cardiff about a week later, looking at London and looking at Bristol as well. So mostly in, in the south of the country. So appreciate all your support on the channel. Almost at 150,000 subs now. I'm excited to be interviewing my two new podcast guests um, about 10 days from now and getting more content up on the channel. Cheers for your support. Got any more big names and making the news? You want me to look into the cases and give you my experience and information? Put them in the comments section. 
You ask, I research and try to deliver. Take care out there.